we are going to finish the lesson we started the other day on finding the distance between two points. So one of the things that you want to look at are the two coordinates. You want to find the ones that are different. And those are the numbers that you will add or subtract. So in this case, we have find the distance between the two points. We have 2, 4, and 2, 7. So if you notice, the 2's are the same. So we are going to look at the 4 and the 7. And the 4 and the 7 are both in the y value, the y coordinate. So we are looking at a vertical change. It's going to be going up and down. So if you think about this logically, you have over 2, up 4 is here, and over 2, up 7 is here. So what we're looking at is we're dealing with both positive numbers. We're looking at a distance right around here. So we're looking at the absolute value of 7 minus the absolute value of 4, which simply is 7 minus 4, which is 3. So the distance between those two points would be 3 units. Now take a look down at the second example. Find the distance between negative 3, 7 and 5, 7. So in this case, you have the y values are the same, so you're going to be looking for the vertical distance. So we have here um, negative 3, 7 is right around here. And we've got 5, 7 is right around here. So we're looking for this distance. Well, if you think about it logically, we have to look at the absolute value of 3. And we have to add that to the absolute value of 5 because we're crossing over this y-axis. So to go from here to here, that's your absolute value of 3, which is 3. And then we have to go over 5 more spaces, which gives you 5. And those two points are 8 units apart. Go ahead and pause the video and take a look at the third one. And then you can come back and answer that. OK, so hopefully you've had a chance to look at this and you've noticed that your sixes are the same, so you're back again looking at a horizontal distance because we are looking at our, the difference between the x coordinates. So we have negative 2, 6, which is probably right around here. And then we have negative 4, 6, which is right around here. Probably go up a little bit higher. So we're looking at the horizontal distance here. So we're looking at the absolute value of negative 4 minus the absolute value of negative 2, which is simply 4 minus 2, which gives you 2 units. So I hope that I said that it was a horizontal difference and not a vertical difference. Here are two examples. You can pause the video and see how you do on these. The first one is 9 comma 1 and 9 comma negative 5. So we're going to be looking for the difference. Now these are the same, so we're looking at the y's. And if you've got 9, 1 right around here and 9, negative 5 right around there, so you're looking at the vertical distance. So you're going to have the absolute value of 1 added to the absolute value of 5. So again, thinking, how do we know that we're adding? Because we've got to cross over this x-axis. And to go from 1 to 0 is your distance of 1. Then we've got to go all the way back down to negative 5. We've got 1 plus 5 is 6 units. Let's take a look at this one here. We have our x-axes are the same. Our y's are different. So same thing. We've got 8, 5, and 8, negative 2. The absolute value of 5 plus the absolute value of 2 is going to give you 5 plus 2 is 7 units. We'll do a couple more examples and then I'll let you go. 
last two sets of problems here. So if you notice that you have the y values are the same, so you're looking at the x's, so you're going to go negative 4, 2, which is here, and then 4, 2 is over here. So you're looking for the horizontal difference. So we have the absolute value of negative 4 plus the absolute value of 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8 units. And remembering that we are crossing over an axis, so we have to do the addition. The bottom one, we have 5, 0, and 4, 0. So again, we have our y values are the same, so we're looking at the x's, which will give us that horizontal difference. So we have over 5, up 0, and over 4, up 0. So we are going to have the absolute value of 5 minus the absolute value of 4. 5 minus 4 is 1 unit. So thinking about how do we know whether we're adding and subtracting, think about whether we are crossing over one of the axes. If we're crossing over one of the axes, we have to do some adding. If we're not crossing over the axes, we're going to subtract. And just remember to put the number that will have the larger absolute value first.